Hi everyone, my name is Dong Hang Wu, and this is the video for my PA application in CSE department. The topic I'm going to talk today is solving algorithm. Before we talk about the topic today, let's talk about what is a sorted list. A sorted list means that the value of each element in the list is greater or equal to the previous one. And what sorting algorithm does is to make any arbitrary list into a sorted list. So the first sorting algorithm I'm going to introduce today is selection sort. In selection sort, every time we just select the smallest element from the list and append it to a new list. And we're going to repeat this, this procedure again and again until the original list is empty. So based on the rule I just mentioned, the first time after we visit every element in the list, we will find out that one is the smallest element. And we're going to put one here and remove it. And we're going to do the same thing and we'll find two is the smallest element in the remaining list. So we're going to put two here and so on until we find the best element. As you can see, selection sort is quite intuitive and easy to understand. However, if we take a look on the time complexity, the first time we have to choose the smallest element will take n to find out the smallest element. And the second time will take n minus 1 since the first one is removing. And we're going to do until the last one. So we can conclude that we will do n multiple n plus 1 over 2 to finish the selection sort which means that the time complexity will be fit of n squared. So now I'm going to introduce the second algorithm. It's called merge sort. And merge sort is a divide and conquer algorithm based on dividing the list into several sublists. And then when the sublist contain only one element, we're going to merge them together in a manner that results in a sorted list. So, I'm going to skip the divided part because it is too simple. And before we step into the conquer or the merge part, let's take a quick look on note. So, if we want to merge two sorted lists, it only takes linear time, fit or n, to finish it. And it is quite easy to understand because we have to visit all the elements in the list to get a final result. And the concurrent part is quite similar with merging two sorted lists. Because as you can see, there are all sorted lists right now. So we, if we visit all the elements, we can get 3, 4, and 6, 7, 2, 8, and 1, 5 to get the next level. And as you can see, these are all sorted, sorted lists. So we will do a similar procedure again. We get 3, 4, 6, 7. And two and uh, one, two, five, eight. And then we will get our final result. And therefore, if we just focus on one level, if we want to merge from level k to level k plus one, it only takes bit O and time to finish this process. So now if we want to calculate the time complexity, we already know a level will take bit O and time to finish. And the second question is how many levels in this data structure? And you can see here, when we at level zero, it will be one sub list, and we in the level k will have two power k this, which which will equal to the number of our elements. So we can get k is equal to log n. We have this many layer, and each layer takes n, n to finish the merge process. So, so the total com complexity will be big O n log n. So in the brief conclusion, if you want to implement the sorting algorithm, if you choose selection sort, it is quite easier to implement. However, you will get a bad time complexity. And in other way, you can use a advanced an advanced data structure to deal with this problem and you will get a better time complexity result in this case. And this is the end of my video.